kind of get the show on the road. Happy Thanksgiving to all concerned. Uh, can I first get a motion to uh, approve the minutes of our last minute? Uh, I'll move. A motion by Supervisor Leggett, seconded by Supervisor Simpson. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, Jennifer, we'll start sure. us off with the uh, October financial statements. Um, we'll start off with the uh, balance sheet and a couple of um, items that I've noted on there for you. First is the cash available to lend, $746,000. Um, and the accounts receivable and accounts payable that you see are um, are uh, contracts between Warren County LDC and Warren County Warren County LDC and EDC. Um, if you move on to the profit and loss okay. budget, yeah. sure. Um, could you remind me again the total TD bank loan um, for the TD bank loan account thirty two thousand six twenty. Why is that one broken out? So there were there were a there's a couple of different um, funding sources that we had. So that would that would have been for a specific loan that we would have had years ago, and it would, it's just separated out, knowing that it goes to a certain um, EDBG funding source. Okay. So there's not we we can utilize it, but it's more or less to track it historically, to know how much. Um, came from that original from that original source. Supervisor Simpson, do you have a question? Uh, yeah, Craig. Go ahead. I just wondered um, with our um, cash balances, is there what do we do for our, uh, interest? In, have we looked at other opportunities? So, to so right now um, we have one account uh, um, that has um, decent interest rate. And there's um, the other, the Gwen Falls National uh, Bank account does not have, um, doesn't have any, any interest um, available to it. Um, I can certainly look into that uh, based upon, I mean, uh, investment policy, what's available out there, and the interest rates that we can get from a local bank. Um, we can do something, we can look into a money market where it's, it's cash available, there's cash available to it, um, but we do earn anywhere between, you know, $100 and $150 in interest a year from, from the one, from the one account. I just wonder because the interest rates are rising, you know, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, if we can gain more interest on, you know, total checking is 855 600 Yep. That's, uh, that's a lot of cash that maybe, you know, without tying it up, I know you need liquidity. Right. No. Nope. Got to be liquidable. Um, but no, but we can. I can certainly contact both. Um, I mean, TD is. We already do have um, an interest-bearing account there. It's Glens Falls National Bank. I'm not really sure if maybe the interest or the um, yeah the um, insurance. You know, the FDIC insurance mm -hmm. is a limiting factor in what we can do. Um, well, actually, because um, Warren County LDC is a component unit of Warren County we have collateral agreements. So we have that additional insurance that so we really don't have to worry about that as opposed to a traditional 501c3 that's, that, that's not part of a, of a government entity or agency. Um, but certainly that's something I can, you know, I can look into. Yep. I think, uh, Matt, an idea might be is to uh, project, uh, as an example, uh, looking at some potential loans coming up that uh, we're, we're kind of aware of that may move forward take a good portion of that and put that in an account such as a money market or other interest bearing and leave some in a, another account as flexibility so that we don't know. I mean obviously with a higher interest rate it should be looked at as well as in a higher interest rate you're going to have to get locked in so many you know months uh, in doing that so it's really going to be a little bit of investment and uh, working out with, with, a, with a bank but uh, Perhaps we even should go to a form of proposal to go to uh, <coughs> banks in this area. Thank you. Great. Yep. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, before the next meeting, I can get a hold of, again, I can get a hold of Gwen Falls National Bank and maybe even a couple of other banks um, to, and again, do some kind of a projection so that you can see what they come back with, what the interest rates are, um, and make a suggestion of, of um, 
either moving some money into um, an account at one of our banks that we use right now or going with a, a new bank and again keeping that within our own investment policy because we do have an investment policy. Um, <laughs> um, profit and loss budget versus actual um, for the month of October. Again, just the only activity that we have is uh, loan interest that's um, accumulated from the loans that we currently <coughs> have from our current borrowers and the agreements between the various entities. And last, profit and loss budget versus actual. The only thing that I'll point out to you is um, the miscellaneous income. And again, that's from the spring map session and um, a small account exposure. And we should be looking at uh, approximately another $1,000 or so from the fall map session, which will be wrapping up at the very beginning of December. Craig. Yeah. Jen, we're about 50% over our budget projected revenue for interest. Was that, we're just being real conservative on that? Well, interest? that's because we closed, uh, there were two loans that we closed okay. on in 2018, and again, this goes back to, you know, the uncertainty of this type of, um, this type of business. <coughs> you're not, you don't know if, it, if you're going to, we're going to close on 10 loans or we're going to close on three loans. So it's um, generally the interest that I calculate is based on current loans and not necessarily projecting that we'll have any any loans um, in the coming year. Yep. And we expect to be entertaining a sizable loan uh, in December. Expectation this year. Yeah. This year. Okay. Any further comments, Jennifer? Or are you? Nope. Done? That's it for the um, financials. If I can get a Great. motion to approve and. Yes, if I could get a motion to approve the uh, October financial statements uh, by Supervisor Leggett, seconded by Supervisor Simpson. All those in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> Review of loan portfolio. Aye. Amy, do you have a, anything to, for update in the executive? Uh, Actually, that's Mary. Mary. Uh, sorry, Mary. That's okay. okay. I'm just looking right at you. I'm sorry, Mary. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you want to talk about the stuff that Amy was working on. We certainly can if you want to. Is there any? I don't think there's not, any update. No, not really. So. So. Nothing really. Oh, nothing, no. Nothing, nothing to me. Okay, great. Uh, basically, any old or uh, new business to discuss? Uh, uh, does any, any member of the public wish to say anything? Uh, Travis, I see you back there. Travis, no? Wonderful. wonderful. That, uh, Yes, I have one more question, and, and we're all current. Yes, I mean uh, be, um, beyond those that are. Not right. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. The yes. couple that are <coughs> North bankruptcy. Current. Okay. Direct deposit now, and Jen calls in three days in advance, and he does um, go in and uh, deposit it, and draws so we get to that. So I'm good. Right. Supervisor Wild, I saw your hand up. Jim, um, 855000 in cash, mm -hmm. to me that sounds like an awful lot of money. <coughs> and I'm just curious what you expect to accomplish um, in the 2019 that those funds. So, um, just so we're clear that total $855,000 isn't available to loan. So we're going to be using approximately um, $50,000 for operating. Um, the housing, that's another twenty-eight, twenty-nine thousand dollars $29,000. So we're still looking at, you know, close to $800,000. And it has a as it has been in the past and it is right now, it's trying to um, market the loan funds, um, trying to make responsible, um, but taking some risk with some of this money and getting it back out into the community to small businesses. Um, and whether that's through um, you know, traditional advertising. Um, we do pick up some uh, loans through the Microenterprise Assistance Program, or actually it's a Startup Adirondack, our program with uh, SUNY Adirondack in Washington County, LDC. It's an eight-week program that helps small businesses in Warren, Washington County um, learn how to put a business plan together and um, 
the goal is for those businesses then to come to the individual entities and request loan funds, if necessary, if they can't get it from the traditional um, banks. And um, uh, Ed and I were just at a forum on Thursday. So TD Bank had a small business forum up at Highland, and there were about 80 people in the audience. And it was an opportunity for us to talk about small business loans, again, in Warren and Washington County and what we have to offer people. So I think it's doing more of that um, and getting, you know, getting the word out to those entities, to those small businesses in the area that need it, and certainly maintaining the relationships that we have with the local banks. Um, I think we have a great relationship with um, all of the local banks, and we're trying to, again, build on even some of the banks, some of the um, larger banks that may not necessarily have a physical presence right here in Warren County, but they certainly do business here. And there were some of those banks at the TV, TV event as well. So do you have any specific goals just above this Three specific sure. goals for yeah, this year. Currently, uh, Mike, we have probably in our own portfolio uh, proposals probably $200,000 to $125,000 in loans. Uh, one, uh, out of that, there's probably one significant local uh, loan that uh, we'll be looking at uh, as early as December. Okay, so you know, uh, um, and then going forward, uh, we identified three or four additional potential loans. Again, um, we try to work uh, with them and direct them to a bank and then we end up using the app financing as an assistance, generally not as the lead primary uh, lender in the So um, again, it kind of comes in cycles. Um, what happens is the interest rates have been very low over the last few years, whether for mortgage or for lending. Um, we see the interest rate beginning to uh, rise. The Federal, the Federal Reserve is looking to perhaps bump up on a quarterly uh, basis the interest rate. When that occurs, uh, we get more business and can see more local loans uh, that are uh, available as, as well. So I would expect that we would see some uh, increase in activity uh, in our final loans uh, in December and going through 2019. Just one other question. Um, 800000 available to loan protect and over the last, say, five or ten years in terms of what that number is been? Um, I would say that the, over the last, I can speak to the last five years because we've only been doing this loan for the last, this is our sixth year. Okay. Um, so it's, it's fluctuated um, primarily because we've had um, some years where we've had the first, I think, year or two, uh, year we had absolutely no loans. The next year we closed on three loans. So that'll fluctuate um, anywhere between, um, you know, 500,000, you know, between mid 400,000 to 800,000, 800, um, where it is now. Um, and again, it depends upon, it, it depends upon the economy. Um, 2009, 2010, 2011, uh, those were years where, um, Again, there were, if there were any, there may have been one loan a year based upon um, the uncertainty of what was going on at a, you know, at a global level more so than the micro level locally. Um, so it's, um, it fluctuates, it may not, you know, it doesn't fluctuate, you know, widely, wildly I should say, um, but it certainly can fluctuate anywhere, you know, again between you know, three hundred and four hundred thousand dollars a year based upon the types of loans that we lend. Yep. Very good. Any further questions? You know, it's interesting to look at uh, your portfolio here, Ed, and I, uh, you know, and you look at a couple of uh, establishments that serve food, okay? So I, I, I'm looking at Queen of Hearts on there. Now, that's my, uh, every, get a couple of plain pizzas from Queen of Hearts, uh, you know, every, mo every month, whatever, but it would be gr great, great food, great product, and it, uh, so that's how I judge that, that loan, okay, the, the ultimate end user in terms of the quality of their product, the taste of their product, which makes me want to frequent the establishment and makes me feel good about the loan, so, uh, so that is my commentary for, uh, 
for Thanksgiving. Then you go up to Martha's, right? And have <laughs> the, uh, you know, that's a very good observation. Yes, it, uh, absolutely right. That uh, great tasting, uh, great tasting stuff. You know, and, uh, and Doug and I, we go to the uh, to the uh, what is that hot dog place? Not we don't go to Warrensburg. We go to the one in Queensbury, and Doug uh, Doug loads up on hot dogs. So <laughs> The other thing just to uh, mention is that we have uh, two loans that uh, mature uh, next year. So again, that caused part of the fluctuation of this point is that some of the loans are retained to go back in recycling, and that's the benefit of the program is to be able to recycle these. And I, and I think just, just as a reminder to everyone as well, so you have um, there were questions about burlap and beans. So you have, a, you have an entity who may not employ a lot of people, but um, over the last year, they had 20 events, um, you know, from May through September in Athol, New York, and there were at least a half a dozen, um, if not more, other small local businesses from florists, from bakeries, from photographers, from caterers, who had an opportunity um, to be a part of this, you know, this small loan, and those are the types of things I think that we need to um, keep in mind as well as, you know, you talk about New Way Lunch, it's the employment um, that's either retained or the fact that they were able to add some employees doing the outdoor seating, and the same way with Queen of Hearts. Um, she has about four, um, four or five full-time employees and seven part-time employees. So it's, it's the other side of this. It's the money that's being put back in because of payroll, because of sales tax, and in some cases even occupancy tax. So it's not just, um, you know, the numbers that we see on these pages, but it's the, uh, it's, it's the effects, the other economic effects in the community that we have to keep in mind as well. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, that being said, can I get a motion to adjourn? Uh, Supervisor Leggett. Uh, Supervisor Simpson, all in favor, aye. aye. aye.